Curtis, a bit of a disappointing way to end the uh, unbeaten run. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Second best today. And, um, you know, credit to Stirling Bridge, the better side, really, for the full 90 minutes. Even when they went down to 10 men, you know, they, they won every battle, every individual battle. Two games in a row, really, where we've been second best all over the pitch. Can't think of too many um, players that won them individual battles today and we came off second best and, and we, we got what we deserved, really. It seemed to galvanise them when they went down to 10. Yeah, definitely, it did. You know, they put a, they put a hell of a shift in. You know, like I said, they were first to everything, really. And like I said, that's two games in a row now, really, where we've been way off it. But, you know, credit to Sterling Bridge. Like I said, they were the better team. Well, you're particularly disappointed about composure on the ball. It seemed as though during that first half, in particular. Yeah, we couldn't uh, we couldn't put two passes together today. I know obviously it's windy and it's it's blustery, but yeah, um, our quality all over the pitch was poor. You got uh, a goal back after 70 minutes, and at last that seemed to go to uh, spark the team into some sort of. Uh, energy and it seemed to have like a renewed energy after that. Yeah, play. I think the lads thought we could go and get something out of it then once we got that, that goal back, but you know, we often puffed really. You know, we, we flapped our wings but we never we never mm. quite looked like taking off. Disappointing as well, with so many games off, that could have moved you up to tenth a bit yeah, today. Yeah, we'd have gone tenth today if we'd have won. Um, but like I said to you, you know, when we were bottom of the league, you, you are where you are and you're there on merit. Um, so we're not good enough to be tenth, that's why we're not. You made changes at half time. Yeah. Tactical. Yeah, I could have made 11, to be honest, probably 10. I had James Williamson, I thought, right back, who, who, who did excellent, competed, did exactly what he did, but the rest of them, I could have made 10 at half-time if I, if I had available subs. So. You've got a, a cup game on Tuesday yeah. before uh, Mikhailova next yeah. next Saturday. How are you going to approach that? It'll be the same squad today as, as, uh, as Tuesday. But a few changes, obviously. A few changes, yeah. Like I said, you, know, you can play your way in the team and you can play your way out of the team, mm. so it's, it's important that you know maybe there's some of the lads that have not featured as often you know after looking at that today they've got me thinking what's our chance of getting mm, in the team mm. so yeah there'll be a couple of changes Tuesday but it's a game we're taking serious and we're looking to win yeah and also moving on to Saturday of course you've got to start that run again yeah definitely like so when you are on such a good run it it does come to an end ultimately at some point unless you're Liverpool um, <laughs> but yeah it, it's and whenever it comes to an end it's disappointing that, that the thing that I'm more disappointed about is two games in a row now where mm. we've been out fought and out battled. They're, they're the things that, that disappoint me more than anything. But like I said, you know, it's. I think if you look at the run we've been on, it's very difficult to be overly critical because mm. the lads have given everything. Got to draw a line now and move on. And like I said, put another run together and get that resilience back. I thought defensively today we looked so shaky and um, we've been defensively sound for, for long periods. But yeah, today we looked a little bit all over the place. So. Back to basics, really. One of them as a manager where you um, assess everything. I think, yeah, really back to basics after that performance. And I find it difficult to adapt to the conditions. I know it's the same for both sides, yeah. but I thought Trinity did struggle to uh, cope with those conditions a yeah. little bit more than Celtic did. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, we didn't... Um, like I said, it's just one of those games where you look at it and there wasn't really anyone where you think, yeah, stood out and had a good game and in the condition is really tough. Well, Simon came on in the second half and did well, got control of the game, but you know, we need to do that from the first whistle, not when we're when one nil down at, at half time against ten men. Um, so yeah, it, it is one of them. It's it's a disappointing one. You know, the fans are disappointed, we're disappointed. But ultimately when you look at the, the last seven, eight weeks, you know, we've got to take a lot of positives from it, but we've got to understand that we have to be better than that, because we play like that won't win too many mm -hmm. more games. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your time. Thank you, cheers. Thanks for being candid as well, Curtis. Ah, no Thank you. No worries.